my people. Christianity no be competition. Time don't reach. Where we go stop, that they use people here, they jump together. All the name of religion. I no want to talk. Watch this video. I'll come put my own for the end. A get why. Feel and make you understand what now they talk. Moses never saw God. Moses never met God. God was interacting with them through angels. He couldn't reach them one on one. But I want to see your face. God said, no man sees me and leave. Moses, I'm ready to see you. I want to see you. Moses knew the structure. No man sees God and leaves. Moses said, I'm ready. In other words, if it takes death to see you, I want to die in the process. I want to see you. So God showed him a side. God said there is a side by me. Nobody should come to the mountain. If they come to the mountain, they will die. Distance has started. God wanted relationship. That's why it says the law was added because of transgression. Whose transgression? The transgression of Abraham. Abraham was the originator of the law. It was not Moses. How did Abraham originate the law? God said to Abraham, I will give you a seed. And Abraham said, I can't wait. Abraham produced Ishmael. And Ishmael is the origin of the law. Galatians chapter 4. Two covenants. One from Mount Sinai. And one in Jerusalem. Mount Sinai answers to Jerusalem. The law answers to grace. Which is an allegory. But he speaks of two covenants. He's talking about works. And he's talking about grace. Isaac was grace. Old age. Sarah had clocked menopause. No hope for her. Bam! They had a child. Ishmael was works. Abraham went out of his way. Picked his house girl. And was struggling to make the promise come to pass. And he messed up the plan and out of Abraham came law and out of Abraham came grace when Moses gave them the law he gave them the law then he himself he said oh God if I have found favor in your sight show me the way he gave them law and enjoyed grace Galatians 3 19 it was added because of transgressions I want you to see it the seed should come to whom the promise was made and it was ordained by angels in the hand of a mediator so an angel was the one administering the old testament and in the hands of a mediator called moses so who gave moses the ten commandments angel how do we know that acts 7 35 put it up acts 7 35 god punished the devil are you ready for this this moses whom they refused saying who made thee a ruler and a judge the same did god send to be a ruler and a deliverer by the hand of the angel which appeared to him in the bush who did Moses meet in the burning bush an angel Moses never saw God Moses never met God God was interacting with them through angels he couldn't reach them one on one because there was no mediator Am I talking to somebody here? Put it up, put it up. Acts chapter 7 verse 50. Let me show you something else. Kabota, Kabota. Acts 7 50. And they have slain them which showed before of the coming of the just one of whom you have been now the betrayers and murderers. Next verse. Who have received the law by the disposition of angels and have not kept it. Who gave Moses the Ten Commandments? Angel. There is a man, his name was Moses. Moses walked with God. In fact, the Bible says, Moses said to God, I want to see your face. God said, no man sees me and leave. Moses, I'm ready to see you. 
I want to see you. Moses knew the structure. No man sees God and lives. Moses said, I'm ready. In other words, if it takes death to see you, I want to die in the process. I want to see you. So God showed him a side. God said, there is a side by me. So God showed Moses a side of him. So Moses saw a side of God and that made Moses God. Moses was translated from terrestriality to celestiality. Moses became another God. That is why no man could kill Moses. It takes a God to kill a God. Only the almighty God could kill Moses because Moses was a God. And after God killed him, it was God that buried him because terrestrials don't bury celestials. God buried him himself. Satan had to come before God. He said, please, master, we need the body of Moses. Say what? Let's take it to a special spot. We need to study the anatomy of Moses. One that was 100% God, 100% man. God said, there is a prophet. I talked to him by dream. Moses doesn't say, I dreamt. He said, but for Moses, I put my mouth in his ears. I talked to him face to face. But hold on. Moses never entered the promised land. Why? Exodus chapter 2, verse 1 and verse 2. There was a man from the tribe of Levi. Married a woman from the tribe of Levi. What was Levi? Genesis chapter 49. When Jacob was blessing his sons, when he got to Levi, he said, Levi, Levi killed a man. Somebody messed up their sister, so they took the person out. So Moses looked at them. He said, you. He said, you will not be joined in Israel. Sir, there was no Israel in the time of Moses. Israel is a product of Jacob's encounter. Is that true? There was no Israel in the time of Moses. He said, you will not be joined. Israel became the land of Canaan, the land of promise. So he was saying, you will not be joined in Israel. You will not get to Israel. Moses was in the line. How? Pattern. Levi was a, 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 a descendant with temperament problem, anger issues. And the Bible tells us they killed a man. Moses was the meekest man on the face of the earth. So don't let nobody tell you Moses was a man with anger. No, he was the meekest man on the face of the earth. Meekness and anger are, there is no correlation. He was the meekest man. But when God said, speak to the rock, the same pattern on Levi triggered in moses he got angry he struck the rock god said you will not get to that land as a fulfillment of the pattern that came through the lips of moses of jacob my people i hope when i don't watch the video of these two men of god where person joined together and not know the purpose or waiting in one game for this video Many people they confuse and they not understand about this Christianity. Say the word of God na spiritual. You not feel use your physical high. They look spiritual thing. Umbanu, it not they work. Make you not come they use the men of God head they jam because of na selfish benefit. Waiting the word of God talk, 1 Corinthians 2, verse 14. A man that is in flesh cannot understand the things of the spirit. You know if you understand that your qualification or your degree, no get waiting what do for where word of God day. Not be the way that they read novel. I've been a textbook that they, they explain the word of God. Different is they. Roman 8 5 to 8 talk and say, A canonical minded cannot understand the things of the spirit. You live in the flesh, you want no waiting. They inside the spirit. I want a walk. Not be juju be that. The word of God, you feel the final in different ways, different explanation. Many answer and plenty result go come out for only one scripture. The way these two men of God they explain this message, call another man tomorrow. May come explain now. Now different answer or result it go still give you. 
tell the two men of God, may they come take this message next year. They go explain and again in different way. Now make can the word of God they renew every day by day. It get why. I beg make we they use our brain. Una way they drag on ourselves for the comment session. Now my daddy right, now my daddy right. Like I pass my neighbor, make una carry una hide down. Make una they read na Bible. Most of us just go church on Sunday, carry Bible, go church, carry a chorus, it don't finish. I don't know whether Bible they exist again. I pray may God have mercy on us. Respect to Una.